The UPF has been working with thousands of ambassadors for peace from all walks of life to create a new approach to peace building. Now is the time for us to look for a new paradigm of leadership. We need to find something to anchor us back on earth. And if there is going to be an anchor, it must be based on faith. We go beyond the boundaries of country, color and creed, bringing together the world of politics, religion and civil society as we strive to resolve age-old conflict. This organization has shown its desire to pioneer some innovative thinking and propose many worthwhile initiatives to advance peace. The Federation is talking about actual peace, the inner peace and love. It is beautiful. On issues of conflict, the political resources only is not sufficient. The spiritual dimension is instrumental. Speaking right here in this room, my father, the Reverend Dr. Sun Myung Moon, predicted that the greatest challenge to peace in the 21st century would come from conflict between religions. For that reason, he urged the United Nations to quickly create an inter-religious council that would bring together the leaders of all the great faith traditions. The prerequisite for a good dialogue can only be a common frame of reference where the partners in dialogue are sharing the same core values. The real reason we need to come together and why we want this council of the United Nations is that there is an important spiritual and moral dimension to all the major problems that face our society. This is actually empowering the religious communities to bring questions of ethics on the table. Maybe politicians can stop wars, but then ending a war doesn't end the seeds of conflict. I think it's religious communities who perhaps can help the work of reconciliation and forgiveness. There can be no peace among nations unless there is peace among the religions. The Philippines and I proposed this global interfaith dialogue here at the United Nations and I was so delighted because Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said he will give it his all-out support. Most of the world's people follow a major religion and so the relationship between religions is of vital importance. If you talk about the fundamentals of Christianity, the fundamentals of Islam, the fundamentals of every faith tradition, we will find that the core values are the same. What has gone wrong is that we have developed a kind of a nationalistic feeling around our religious traditions. When you talk about religion, if people become fanatic, if people start rejecting others rather than accommodating, that's a problem. Religion's principal purpose is to advocate brotherhood of men, and if you are brothers, you don't fight against each other, and you have to live in peace. UPF convenes leaders from diverse sectors of society to address issues that affect our lives. The International Leadership Conference has been presenting the core values and principles and programs of UPF. The UPF and its principles of peace and conflict resolution have really much to contribute to the situation in the Balkans. Its peace initiative has principally taken the form of substantial program of peace education among key leaders in the Balkans. One of the most important questions we examine is what exactly causes conflict? We want to try to understand is there a fundamental cause which is at the root of all conflict? And I'm reminded of the expression, the heart of the human problem is the human heart. I really don't believe in trying to contain violence with force. It has to be contained with love, with forgiveness, and stick to um, the idea of he is my brother, she is my sister, even though he may be on the other side of the fence. During Kenya's last general election, the tensions between opposing parties tragically erupted into violence, 
and the Prime Minister Raila Odinga was faced with a potentially worsening crisis. If he had just the power in his head, running for the power, he would have refused to reconcile. But because he had been with UPF and learned about how it is important to love, he became a forgiver. Many people who came out maybe to fight, they thought they were fighting for him. But he said, you don't have to demonstrate like that. Don't take a weapon and hurt your fellow Kenyan. The principles that we've learned here of being one family under God became the major principle that guided us during this particular time. The UPF helps young people to develop good character through its peace, education and social action programs around the world. We are developing a new generation who would say no to violence, who would say no to injustice. We are developing the culture of peace in the children. It's education that's based on cultivating what's best in them, cultivating the goodness of their hearts and their minds and who they are. It's bringing these strong values um, back into the family, back into the society. There is a series of books where you will find the stories that are related to a topic that you want to teach, either values, respect, acceptance. It is very important for us to use the skills and the gifts we have been given to help others. They don't need to be of our same faith. And as long as there's someone who's there who needs help, uh, God has called us to be able to reach out to them. Kids really yearn for the spiritual. They really yearn for doing good. And the projects and the team building and the interaction really emphasize that. If we want to have impact, we have to be teamed up. And there has to be a, a plan, a, a development plan to build peace. We need institutions for culture of peace. We need peace education based on universal human values. You need to create a focus, a sense that there is a movement, a leadership developing in the creation of a peaceful world, that it's not haphazard, that we can make it real. We can collaborate and bring our knowledge together, create something new, create something different, be innovative. I would like to tell my government that we invite the UPF to our country so that some of these materials that we have here could be explained to our people. Perhaps not even in a building, but in a football stadium. <laughs> I want to express the hope that your own and UPF's work will go further, further from strength to strength, from country to country, from family to family, from heart to heart.